Hello, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my life page. Today I'm going to be talking to you about cosmetology. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was interested in cosmetology from a really young age. I decided to go to a trade school for cosmetology when I was 16. After completing 1,600 hours and getting my professional license, I began uh, my professional career as a cosmetologist at the age of 18, and I've been working professionally for 18 years now. I've worked for um, many different corporations in the hair industry, but currently I'm self-employed and running my own salon as a cosmetologist. Cosmetology covers hair, all things skin, hair, and nails. Um, it's a broad education in those areas, um, different than a barbering education. Barbering focuses just on uh, the study of hair. Um, with a cosmetology license, you can do all things. You can color hair, you can cut hair, you can perm hair and use chemicals, um, facials, any skin care, uh, a cosmetologist is licensed to do, and any nail care a cosmetologist is licensed to do. So it gives you a broad education in these areas, and you're able to specialize in any of those areas or continue that broad um, focus for all of your clients' needs. Um, you're also going to want to know color theory. Oftentimes, a client's going to come and want a change in color of their hair, so you're going to want to know um, the color wheel. A lot of the same uh, theories that artists use, you're going to want to know and have an understanding. If you don't have a good understanding of the color wheel, you're going to turn your client's hair many shades that they're not desiring. And so having a, a good grasp on color theory is going to be important in this career. One that's very important is going to be customer relations um, and communication with your clients. That's very important to be able to um, hear what your client is asking you and telling you, being able to know how to ask the right questions to get the answers that you're needing so that you can provide the service that your client is desiring. Sometimes it's hard to understand uh, what a client actually wants without asking the right questions. So communication is a huge part. And customer service with your clients. If you don't have good customer service, your clients aren't going to come back. And that's a really important part of this business is being able to provide a relationship with your clients um, so that they'll return back. It offers you a lot of flexibility in your scheduling. You're your own boss oftentimes, especially if you um, are in a situation that you're self-employed like I am currently. Um, you're able to set your own schedule. So your life um, doesn't have to revolve just around your job. Your job can revolve around your life, which is a wonderful benefit of being a cosmetologist. You know, client retention, you can't be in charge of whether or not a client returns to you. But um, the positive part of that is that you are in control of the service you provide. And so if you're providing an excellent service, um, the chances are that client will return. And so that's a skill that you need to develop so that that client retention as a challenge um, isn't such a huge challenge. But that is one of the challenges of this business is that you want returning customers. And that takes a lot of hard work to um, provide service and customer service that um, warrants those returning customers. Typically, my workday re revolves around my family. So depending on what we have going on as a family, what my kids have planned in their day, I get to arrange my clients according to that. And so um, if my day maybe starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, I would have a client scheduled for 9 o'clock. I would come in a little bit early, prepare everything that I need to for my client who's coming, whether that's... Um, you know, maybe she's getting a, a highlight that day. So she would come in and I would talk with her and consult with her and what her desires are for that day. I would prep my color and we would get started on applying her color. Once I apply her color, she's ready to be processed. So as she's processing, um, I've already planned into my day knowing that she was getting a color for another client to come in at that time. So now my next client might come in at that time and I might do a haircut on her. So while my first client's processing, I'm going to be washing and cutting my next client. Constantly being aware of my time management and the time that it, that it needs, um, you know, it takes from one client to process and for me to cut and finish the next. So my day is going to look a lot like that. Just going through and fitting in clients where I have downtime for processing and then making sure that I'm finished on time to get my first client rinsed. So I'll cycle through that doing um, waxing, facial waxing, doing colors, doing root touch-ups, covering people's gray, 
um, and doing haircuts, doing children's cuts, men's cuts, women's cuts. So I hope I've given you a balanced view on cosmetology. Thank you for listening.